In this video, we have one, two, three different lookup values. But when we find matches for those values, we're going to end up with multiple numbers that we need to bring back and add. Now, we'll learn how to do this three different ways. But the easiest way involves the new Office 365 function, XLOOKUP. Now, currently, September 13th, XLOOKUP is only an Office 365 Insider. But Microsoft says, soon enough, it'll be in all of Office 365. Now, anytime I'm adding with multiple conditions, the most efficient function in Excel is sum ifs. But wait a second. These conditions are not all in the records. The state condition is up in the column headers. So we'll start with XLOOKUP. We're going to look up the state, comma, within the column headers. And notice one, two, three different columns. I'm going to hit the F4 key comma, return array. Because lookup array has three columns, return array has to have three columns also. But guess what? As soon as we give x lookup multiple rows, it knows we want to look up the entire column. F4, close parentheses. We're doing exact match, and that's the default. Now watch what happens when I hit Enter. It spills the entire looked up column. Now that's not what we want, F2. We simply want to use that inside of sum ifs. Now sum ifs and earlier functions, sum if, count if, and those kind of functions are notorious in not being able to handle array operations. Luckily, XLOOKUP and the index function deliver range objects, which sum range, or if you're in count ifs, average ifs, all of those ranges where the numbers go, they can understand a range object, comma. And now criteria range 1, the entire product column, F4 to lock it, comma. Criteria 1, well, there's the product for this row, comma. Criteria range 2, the entire sales rep column. F4, comma, criteria 2, there it is. Close parentheses, and that formula will work. And the beautiful thing is that X lookup right here and the next row, it's looking up California. But when it gets down to Washington, it's going to look up a different column. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Now let's go to the Washington row, F2. Click inside some ifs. Click on some range. And if I hit the F9 key, sure enough, look at that. It looked up the correct column. Escape. Bonus formula number one. No worries if you don't have X lookup, because guess what? Index and match have always been able to look up a column. The trick is we simply, when we're doing two-way lookup row number, we leave empty or put a 0, and it knows to get all the rows. And then in column number, match looks up the correct relative position. And because index delivers a range object, we can just put it right into sum ifs. Now, this is going way back in the time machine. Before we had some ifs with that letter s, when we had to add with multiple conditions, we'd have to do an array operation like this inside of some product and then look up the column with index and match. Now, if you want to learn more about XLOOKUP, I have a great comprehensive introduction to this amazing function. And if you want to see another example of three-way lookup with XLOOKUP, check out this video.